there's there's mountains. There's mountains. <sighs> so beautiful. So beautiful. Describe these mountains. They're they're rock mountains. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's one on each of my sides. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting in front of them. I can see one on one side, one on the other side, and I'm sitting in the middle on the top of another one. Mm -hmm. And in front of me, I can see a big body of water mm -hmm. and the sky. It's blue. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to focus on the body that is there, that is sitting in front of this beautiful view. Can you see your body? Do you have a physical body? Yes. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your feet. What do they look like? They're, they're regular feet. Mm -hmm. Are they male or female? Female. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Look at the rest of your I'm body. I'm sitting on what looks like a throne mm -hmm. made out of rock the same mountain of the same mountain but it's got a little bit of grass and plants growing on it mm -hmm. and I can feel the, the breeze and the air in my face mm -hmm. my you... both of my hands are are on the sides of my seat mm -hmm. take a look at your hands what did it look like? The regular hand. Mm -hmm. Do they have any adornments on it? Any jewelry? No. No. Let's take a little, the rest of you. Let's see what you look like. What you're wearing. I'm wearing like a white soft fabric pants. Mm -hmm. I'm barefoot. And I'm wearing some kind of a robe. Mm -hmm. Like a shawl, but it's flowy white. Mm -hmm. And my hair is tied. What color is your hair? It's light brown. Mm -hmm. And it's in a ponytail. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? I look uh, like me, like me, but younger. Mm hmm. How old are you there? Do you have an age? 19. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out a little bit about this place and why you come here. I come here to meditate. Mm -hmm. I love breathing the air that that comes in, in between the mountains. Mm -hmm. And I love looking at the birds that fly around. Do you have any connection with the birds there? No. No. So let's find out a little bit more about you in this place. We're going to go now to the place where you live. I want you to close this scene and I'm going to count from three back to one. When I get to number one, I will touch your forehead and you'll be in the place where you live in this lifetime, there. Three, going back to the place where you live. Two, and one, be there now. It's a place, it's a little kind of like a hut. Mm -hmm. And it's made out of wood, old wood. And it's got plants on the on the top, like grass and plants. Mm -hmm. It's short. I mean, you have to you have to to get in. You have to lean a little bit down. Mm -hmm. Is the place short or are you tall? I guess I'm tall. Mm -hmm. 
feels a little small. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself? Are there any others there with you? I don't see anyone. Okay. So let's see what's inside of your hut. Go inside. It feels so small, though. Uh -huh. Maybe I don't live here. What's in there? There's a little table and a small bed. And uh, there's a little a metal plate with some water in it. In the entrance. What do you imagine that's for? To wash your hands. Mm -hmm. How does it feel like to be in this place? A little. I. A little confined. Mm -hmm. A little confined. Yeah. Is there anybody in there with you? No. No. As you step into this place, does it feel like your own place? Mm -mm. No. You feel like you're just visiting here? I, yeah, I think maybe I found it. Okay, very good. So let's find out a little bit more about this lifetime. In a moment, I'm going to have you close that scene, and we're going to go forward to another important time in that lifetime. You can go forward or backwards. I'm going to count from three back to one. When I get to number one, you will be at this place. Close the scene now, taking a deep breath in. Three, going through time and space to another significant event in that lifetime. Two, allow your visions to come now. And one, be there now. Where are you? I'm in a city. Mm -hmm. Describe the city for me. I, there's like a building with an arch entrance, mm -hmm. but it kind of looks like the top of an egg. Mm -hmm. And I'm walking down the street. Mm -hmm. Are you um, dressed the same or different? Yes, I'm dressed the same. I'm still barefoot. Mm -hmm. And in the city, what are these arches made out of? Like metal. Mm -hmm. They're, they're white. Mm -hmm. What else do you see? I'm, I'm walking down a sidewalk, mm -hmm. and I, I mean, I, I know there's people around me, but I can't focus on any of them. What can you focus on? What comes to your mind? My feet. Mm -hmm. Just the walking. Very good. So let's keep walking and see if there are any other structures in the city. I think that they're, they're kind of uh, like shops. Mm -hmm. Are these modern businesses? Modern shops or ancient shops? What no, it, feel? it looks like very futuristic. Futuristic, very good. What is in these shops? Clothes. What do you see? Describe these clothes for me. They're colorful. Mm -hmm. Anything? There's mothers and children, but they don't look like me. Mm -hmm. How are they dressed? They have... Um, they have colorful clothes on, like all, all one color, like red and blue. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have they have like round heads, but I don't know. They they have eyes on the sides of their heads, or it's like a structure. Mm -hmm. Is it almost like eyes on a fish? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What are their, do they have noses or anything no, like that? they just have like a mouth. Okay. What does their mouth look like? Like a puppy, like a fish. Like a fish. Mm-hmm. What about their, their body? Do they have arms or legs? They have arms 
and legs that like frog like mm -hmm. arms and legs. Are they all looking the same? I, 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 focused, mm -hmm. I focused on two of them. Okay. And has your body changed at all? Yes, I look really tall. Really tall. Tell me more. I am. Um, my skin is kind of white. Mm -hmm. And I have blue eyes. And I, I, I'm just walking. I feel happy. Mm -hmm. Very good. Looking at everyone. So let's see where it is that you're going to today. I'd like for you to advance now to the place where you are supposed to be going. Be there now. I'm in a room mm -hmm. in one of the buildings. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sitting and I think I'm waiting for someone. And I can see um, outside the window. What do you see? Glass window. What do you see outside? I can see. I can see this space. Mm -hmm. The stars. I can see the stars. I can see some some things that fly around, like spaceships, mm -hmm. maybe. So this room in which you're in, what kind of shape is this room in? It's not that egg shape, mm -hmm. but it's it's got the arches, but it's mm -hmm. there's a lot of glass windows. Mm -hmm. How do you feel sitting there? I, I feel like I belong there. Mm -hmm. like it's some kind of meeting. All right. So let's advance the scene to where the meeting begins. Who is there? The more you talk, the more you'll be able to see and describe. Mm, there's um, this being sitting in, in like the head of the table, mm -hmm. and it's got a really long neck, mm -hmm. and he's dressed with a red robe. With a red robe. What does his face look like? got big eyes and um, he kind of reminds me of uh, E.T. Mm -hmm. What color is his skin? It's, it's kind of like bluish mm -hmm. green. What's the rest of him look like? Look at his arms and hands. They look like the frog hands. Like the frog hands. Very good. Is there anyone else at this table? Or is it just you and this other? I, I being? feel like there's some other, other being there, mm -hmm. like the ones that I saw at this door. Mm -hmm. And they also have blue and red clothes on, but I can't see them clearly. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just know that they're there. You're going to use your other senses, not just your inner eyes, but your inner knowing. And they'll just become part of your knowing. You'll know how many are there. So now that you're at this meeting, are you looking any different? 
my, my hair mm -hmm. is white. Mm -hmm. and it's really long, but it's still in a ponytail. Mm -hmm. How are you dressed there? I feel like there's, um, like there's my, my jacket, my flowy jacket has like a rings like fabric rings mm -hmm. around my neck and it and the rest of it is it's like a shawl like I mean I can move it mm -hmm. does it have any type of insignia or logo or anything on it any symbols no, no. very good so I'd like for you to use all of your senses and telepathic abilities that you have on this ship and let's communicate with the others and see what this meeting is about why are you here today in this room Hi. I'm, I feel like I'm listening in mm -hmm. but I, I don't know connect with your feelings see why you're there is there something that you need to know from this being or those that are there it just said this is who you are this is who you are so I'd like for you to look at this being in the eyes Tell me how it feels when you look. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. Who is this being? Is it male or female? It's female. 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 Who is she to you? It says I'm you. Mm hmm. Ask what that means. What's that mean? Since you asked who you are, mm -hmm. this is you. Ah, very good. Very good. So would we be able to assume that this is your higher self? Or a different aspect of you? It's a different aspect. Ah, very good. So let's ask this being if it's able to ask or answer more questions. Are you able to answer more questions? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So what we'd like to ask is where it is that you're from. Moon. She says moon. The moon. Very good. Is it the moon from Earth? Or a different moon? Vega. Vega. Mm -hmm. Would it be helpful to show this entity? Maggie, where she's from. I can't hear or right. see her anymore. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, I'll put my hand on your forehead to open up that window and see where it is that this soul comes from. Taking a deep breath in one, now traveling through time and space to see the source of where the soul comes from. Two, 
and three. See it now. Describe what you imagine. It's like it's like earth, mm -hmm. but what is the terrain like? Is it rocky or is it? I, I I'm I'm back where I started. Mm -hmm. where... Is this where Vega is? I think so. Mm -hmm. Feel it. Absorb it. This is Vega that you see? Yes. Very good. So now that we understand where it is that this soul comes from, let's find out why it is that she came to Earth. So I'm going to count now even farther back from five to one. When I get to number one, you will see where it is that you met with your guides to decide to come to Earth. Taking a deep breath in now, five. Going back to the time where the decision was made for the soul to incarnate on Earth. Four. Meeting with your counsel and guide. Three, to understand your purpose. Two, almost there now. And one, be there now. I am at the same meeting with them. I'm at the same meeting with them. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. And he says that... The feeling of happiness that I'm feeling there, sitting. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm very excited because I am going to Earth. What is it about Earth that is attracting you? It's an adventure. Mm. <laughs> I see. <laughs> And what is this adventure for? Just to have fun. To have fun. Very good. I feel, I feel, I feel so young and, and ready for an adventure. Mm -hmm. So this adventure to Earth, are you going to be taking any skills with you? Any, anything that you will be using? to go on this adventure my uh, that happiness mm -hmm. that I feel that's that happiness that I must use mm -hmm. on earth why is it important for you because to use it? it's contagious ah so when you go to earth and use that happiness others will feel it too mm-hmm mm -hmm. What else would you be using? My light. Mm -hmm. What is special about this light? It's young. Mm -hmm. It's vibrant. It's fun. And when this light is on Earth, how will it help others around? It can touch their hearts, mm -hmm. and they can be happy. Good. Will this light be used to transmit in any other medium before, or just light? Mm. That's why I can. That's why I can paint. Mm. What happens when this entity paints? Can feel. Mm. So, is there a certain vibration in the paintings? 
It's love. It's love. Very good. So what happens when someone would see one of these paintings? They can feel happy and and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Very good. It can change the way they're feeling if they're experiencing low vibrations. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, knowing that the soul is going to go to Earth, being so young, what happens when she needs help? Are there any there that will guide her? We can guide her. Mm -hmm. Who is guiding her? I'm her father. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more? Who is her father? Is it her earthly father? Or her mm -hmm. spiritual father? Mm -hmm. How would she address you? Zion. Zion? Mm -hmm. Zion, what, what would you like to tell her today that she needs to I love you. Mm -hmm. You're doing great. What else? You haven't lost your youth. You have to keep contagion it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Zion, this body right now has taken on some issues with weight, with vibrations, what is happening in her body? She has been suppressing her natural happiness and love. What happens to the body when you suppress that natural happiness and love? It's it starts to get dark mm -hmm. and it starts to it starts to lose its life mm -hmm. so how does her, her body look right now it's, it looks a little dark mm -hmm. this little darkness where do you see it in her body See her, and I see it in her legs, like from the from from the waist down. Mm -hmm. What is there, Zion? What do you see in her legs? This darkness. It's just it's losing its light. Mm -hmm. So, what do we need to do today to bring back that light in her legs? To feel it with light. Mm -hmm. What color light does she need today? She needs the golden white light. All right. Could you remind her of where it is she needs to bring in that light from? Does she just manifest it? Or does she need to bring it in? Yeah, she just needs to bring it in. All right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and take a deep breath in and let's bring in that golden light, that golden white light, and let's send it down into the legs, illuminating all of the cells, all of the spaces between the cells, and see how that golden white light begins to brighten up all of the muscles, all of the ligaments, all of the nerves. Let's flood it with beautiful golden white light. And let's intensify that light. 
make it even brighter. And let me know when she has completely saturated her legs. Let's see her feet. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her feet? Still, they're still dark. Mm -hmm. Is there something there blocking her feet? Has she blocked her feet? Take a deep look at those feet. Is it something attached to her feet, perhaps? Or maybe something she created? to block the light. It's like a little metal ball. A little metal ball. All right. Is this something that she put on her feet or someone else put on her feet? I don't know. Let's find out. Would you assist me with that, Zion? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put my energy over her feet. Is it both feet? It's the right foot. The right foot. All right. So I'm going to put my energy over her right foot, and I'm going to bring that energy up so we can speak with that energy. I'm going to bring it all the way up. Feel that energy going up the body, all the way up the body. And we're going to speak with that metal ball. Good morning. Good morning. Can you tell me what you are that's on her foot? What are you? A metal ball. A metal ball. Did she create you? Or did you come from somewhere else? Mm -hmm. Let's find the origin to where you came from. I'm going to count from five back to one. When I get to number one, you will remember where it is that you came from, either from her own consciousness or from elsewhere. Begin now. Five going through time and space, remembering your origin. Four, three, two, and one. Where are you from? It's like a bigger version of me. Mm-hmm. Why is that on the foot? What is the reason for it? I think it's, kind of, it's making her heavy. Making her heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did she put it there? No. No. Did it come from someone else? All right. Let's find out who that is. I'd like for you to see before you now the face of who put it there and describe who that is. I can't see it. Use your inner knowing and know where it came from. It's, it's, it's like a robot. Like a robot, all right. So I'd like mm. for you to now connect with that robot and understand if you agreed to have that metal bar. Did you agree to it? Oh, no. No. So what is the purpose of that metal ball? It's not letting her walk. Not letting her walk. Move forward. Mm -hmm. In life? In life. In coming. All right. So we know that we... This is a free will planet. This soul came here on her free will to illuminate the earth with her happiness. And that metal ball is keeping her from doing this. Which means that this robot has interfered with her free will. And this is a free will planet. So I'd like for you to connect with that robot and find out who programmed that robot to put that metal ball there? Well, 
we don't like it when there's people shining. Mm -hmm. Why is it you don't like it? Because we're dark. We're dark. Tell me more. We're heavy, we're dark. Mm -hmm. Did she give you permission to put that ball there? No. No. Well, you understand that without permission, you're not doing the right thing. Whether you're dark or you're light, this is a free will planet. So let's find out from this entity if she agreed to it. We're going to mm -hmm. count from one to three. One to three. One, two, and three. Do you agree to have this metal ball on your foot? No. All right. So I'd like for you, because only you can do that, I'd like for you to address this robot and those who have programmed it and have them remove that ball right now. Please remove it. Please remove this ball. It's still there. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're not using your... I need you to remove this ball no. from my foot now. Now. You will remove this ball now. You will remove this ball now. Okay. Mm -hmm. He took it. Very good. So you can go ahead and thank them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And now, let's disconnect completely from those. And I'd like for you to go ahead and do the same thing that you did with your legs. Bring in that golden white light and now let's blast your foot with all of that light. And let's begin healing it and sealing it with that love. And tell me what happens to that foot. It feels a little, feels a little still a little heavy. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's in there. Let's find out what is in there that is still making it heavy. Anything else in there? All right. So I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, I'd like for you to disconnect completely from any heaviness from that foot. I want you to just disconnect from it. One, two, and three. Mm -hmm. Focus in on it now. And let's bring in the lightness, bring in the happiness, bring in that energy that flows out when all of those paintings are done, that love. Let's paint all of that love into that foot, that lightness. And tell me how that feels. Better. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So I'd like now to address your father, Zion. And Zion, I'd like to know how her body looks now. She says she feels energy in her legs and her feet. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is, is this energy? Was it being stuck or something? Else? She can move. She can move? She can move now. She can move now. Mm -hmm. Very good. She also said she was very sleepy and tired. What was causing that? It was, it was just, she was sad. Mm-hmm. And now that she understands her purpose... And her happiness. She's, it's going to be easier to connect. Very good. What was keeping her from connecting before? She was sad. Mm -hmm. What made her so sad? That she, she couldn't. She couldn't be so contagious. Mm. Okay. 
So even though she says she didn't know her sole purpose, the happiness, being kept from being happy was keeping her down. Mm -hmm. Now, Zion, I'd like for you to look at her lungs and her liver. She says that she had pneumonia a while back. Yes. What's her lung look like? Still, I still have it's a little bit of scar tissue. Mm -hmm. Can we assist her with that today? Yes. All right. So, what would you like to use to transform that scar tissue? I would like to use hands. Mm -hmm. All right. Tell me what happens. I'm using some hands to mm -hmm. mold it mm -hmm. and to mold it like like clay mm -hmm. and give it s softness and light. And then put it back so it can be absorbed. Very good. And while you're doing that, also take a look at her liver. She just needs to take care of her liver. Okay. What would be the best thing for her mm -hmm. liver? Juice. Mm -hmm. Water. Fruits. Mm -hmm. Oranges. Oranges. Now she's been juicing some celery lately. Yes. Is that helping her? Yes. Okay, good. Good. So she says that she's wants to know more about how taking how to take care of her body. You've all already told her about what to eat. Is there anything that she should be doing as far as meditation is concerned? She should meditate outside. Outside. What What would that do for her? She can feel how she feels when she's sitting between the mountains. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was that her normal place to meditate? Yes. Okay. Should she be using any crystals or oils? Quartz. Lavender. Mm-hmm. Very good. Anything else? No. No. She was recently drawn to using an emerald stone. Is that helping her in any way? It's okay. I mean, she can keep it. Uh-huh. But the quartz is better for her? Yes. Okay. Good. So, may I ask for an assistant to take her to the correct piece of quartz that she can use? All right, good. Now she's wondering about her connections with her higher self, with you. And you've already given her a message. Are there any other guides that are helping her at this time? I think it's just her friend. Her friend. Mm -hmm. Lupita. Mm -hmm. Did she go to the light? Yes. Okay. Does she have a message for her today? Just keep on being happy. Mm -hmm. Like we were when like we played. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason why Lupita had to leave so early? Mm. She liked it. She... she she was, she wanted to go back home. Ah, uh, is she from the same place? Mm. No. No. Okay, good. Now, being that she did come from a different place, are there any other abilities that she has? For example, she tells me that she kind of knows when someone's ready to transition. She senses entities around her house, and she sees faces on surfaces and textures. 
Can you tell me about these abilities? And if she has more. She can communicate with them. Just telepathically. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess they're just drawn to her. Mm -hmm. But she's afraid. She's afraid to communicate with them. Now, this fear that she has in communicating with them, is that harming her? It dis disconnects her. It, it disconnects her. Yeah. Okay. So we, can we find out a little bit about this fear? I'd like to take her back to the moment in which this fear was created. How do you feel? I'm okay. You feel safe? Yes. All right. So what would you like to say now to this little plant? I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Connect with your plant. Feel the plant. I tripped on you. Mm -hmm. I broke you and I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to connect with that plant and see what the plant tells you. It's okay. I'm going to go back. Mm-hmm. All right, so what I'm going to do, Margarita, is I'm going to put my hand over your chest and I'm going to take from you all of that pain of not knowing that tripping would hurt this plant. Take all that pain out. You don't need to carry that anymore. The plant isn't mad at you. And there's nothing to fear in this garden anymore. So let's pull all of that out. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. And let's send it to the universe. And now, Margarita, what would you like to put? In that space in your heart. It's love. It's been lots of love. Feel it going into every cell of your body, and I'm going to tap your forehead and seal that love in. That's right. And now, look at that happiness. Look at that happiness inside of you. Feel it getting brighter and brighter. I want you to shine that light. Shine it so bright. That it's in competition with the sun. Very good. And now, let's get back to your higher self, Zion. Zion, take a look at this girl now. Will she be able to connect with spirit now? Yes. Mm -hmm. What does she associate it in that plant to spirit? Yes. Mm -hmm. She kept the sadness inside of her, mm -hmm. but she needs to know that it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay because it's just part of life. Mm -hmm. So when there is spirit, in her surroundings. What does she need to do now? Breathe. Mm -hmm. And remember that it always goes back. Yeah, keep that happiness shining. Good. Very good. So now what about the faces that she sees on the surfaces? What are these faces? <laughs> They're just... <laughs> They're curious. They're curious. Yes. Mm -hmm. So who are they, all these faces? They're just different beings. Mm -hmm. Small ones? Some are small. Mm -hmm. They feel like they feel, feel like they're young. Mm -hmm. They're like... They want, just want to know what she's doing. Okay, so what? how should she address all of these faces that she sees? She shouldn't be afraid. Okay. Does she just need to say hi to them? Yes, right. say hi to them. Mm -hmm. Because there are many people that I know of that photograph these faces. Do they want to be photographed? Or they just mm -hmm. want to be acknowledged? They just want to be acknowledged. All right, very good. Very good. So we talked before about her paintings, and she wants to know if she has any special abilities that could help people raise their vibrations and heal in any way. Mm. Is she applying them now in her painting? Wow. 
she should trust mm -hmm. herself. She should know that all the love that she puts in the paintings will translate to anyone that sees them. Mm -hmm. And she she loves to just jumble a lot of things in there, but it looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And the colors are beautiful. And there's so much detail. And she should keep doing that. Mm -hmm. She should trust herself. But she has a hard time putting a price on these paintings. She wants to be able to make some money out of them. She just she wants to gift them and gift them and gift them and make people happy. But she she wants to she wants to earn some money doing mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. If they have such abilities to make people happy, can I ask for a guide who will help her with these finances? <laughs> Who will tell her how much these paintings are worth? Okay. Is that okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Her dad can do that. Her dad, mm -hmm. very good. She has a question about an entity who wants to incarnate as her daughter. Margarita. Mm -hmm. she, she doesn't want an, uh, another child anymore mm -hmm. because she's tired. Who is this entity? She's a here, Margarita. Mm -hmm. Her name is Margarita. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this someone that knew her? Or somebody that's attached to her? Maybe she's attached to mm -hmm. her. Let's, let's see where she's attached. On her back. On her back, all right. So I'd like to go ahead and ask this entity with my energy to come up, 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 and... Speak, please. Margarita? Hi. Hi. Margarita, how old are you? Five. Five. And what year is it for you, Margarita? Mm. 1980. 1980. Margarita, what happened to your body in 1980? Mm. What happened? How did your body die? Oh, no, I think I drowned. You drowned. And what happened after your body drowned? I, I'm in a house. Mm -hmm. Whose house is that? Margarita's house. Okay. So did you go to her for help? I, I, I'm a little scared. You're a little scared. Well, it seems you would be if you're only five years old and you didn't go home. Did you know, Margarita, that you had to go home after you drown? Are you lost? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what have you been doing? I, I, I stand in the kitchen. You stand in the kitchen. Do you tell her that you want to be her mm -hmm. daughter? Mm -hmm. Yes. But you have your own mommy and daddy. Mm -hmm. Why do you want her to be your mommy? Ah, okay. I see. Margarita, I think you need love, don't you? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're missing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Margarita, did you know that this love was inside of you all this time? Oh, no. mm -hmm. Take a look. Inside of you, there's a spark of light. This is the light from where you came. This is God's light inside of you. Find that little light and tell me when you do. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why you're so scared, Margarita. How did you drown in that place? Mm -hmm. In the river. Mm -hmm. What were you doing in the river? I was playing. Mm -hmm. Who were you playing with? My brother. Uh huh. What happened? I think I fell in. You fell in. And after you fell in? I went, I went to 
in the house. Mm -hmm. Is this the same house mm -hmm. where Margarita lives? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're a little lost. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to find your home again. Mm -hmm. And it's not the place where you came from. This is where your soul came from. Margarita, I'm going to bring some angels in to surround you, okay? So you won't be scared. These angels are going to come and they're going to surround you. Feel their wings, wings around you. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. What do they tell you? They need to come with that. All right. So what would you like to tell this Margarita here? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Maggie, do you forgive this little girl for being lost? Of course. All right. Well, you know that you came here to provide your light of happiness. And I'd like for you to go ahead and begin to shine that light into this little girl so she can find her <laughs> own. Illuminate that light in her heart so she can find it. All right, I'll take her outside. All right, let's take her outside. And we're going to ask Archangel Michael to take her by the mm -hmm. hand and so that the other angels and Michael could take her home. All right. So, Margarita, are you ready to leave mm -hmm. now? All right. So go with, mm -hmm. with Archangel Michael and tell me when you get home. Mm -hmm. What do you see there? A bright light. A bright light. Is anybody there to welcome you? No. No. Go into that light with the angels. Mm -hmm. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. Thank you. So now, I'd like to go ahead and have you fill in your back with that beautiful golden white light, healing it and sealing it. Very good. How does that feel now? Very good. So now we understand mm -hmm. that some of the entities that she saw was Margarita then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what else is in that house that needs help? I think it's the energy around the house. Mm -hmm. It just needs to be a little bit lighter. Okay. Now we know that this soul came here with the purpose of using her light to project happiness. Can we use that happiness now to clean that house? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you, Maggie, to see yourself in the center of that house. And let's begin now to bring in that golden white light that you use, that light of happiness. And we're going to project it out from your heart. And I'd like for you to go ahead and send out a perimeter all around you, exploding out of that light. And as that light goes out, we're going to clear out all of those energies. And as they feel those lights, it'll remind them of who they are so that they can find their way home. So let's begin emitting that light like a beautiful lighthouse all around ensuring that all of those energies that are there that have been lost can now remember who they are. And let's begin to see them floating towards the light of God, releasing their hold on earth. And that light brings happiness, not only to those who are, that are in the house, but to all of the consciousness of all of the furniture, all of the wood, all, all of the rock, and all of the grass and shrubbery and trees around us. Feel that happiness as it's projected out. Tell me what happens. It's getting clean. Very good. So what would you recommend 
moving forward when there is something that happens to find that space in our in our house what would you like to tell Maggie mm-hmm. she used to meditate all right and uh, she needs to put a quartz under her bed all right very good will that help her yes mm-hmm will it also help her son yes okay good so is there anything that she needs to teach him about crystals mm. and intention? He already knows. He already knows. Very good. Now he does seem to have, uh, or she has a recurring dream in which he gets lost. Sometimes she finds him and sometimes she doesn't. Mm. What does this dream represent? Does it have anything to do mm. with their lifetimes? Well, since they're connected, mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes she loses herself mm-hmm. and she needs to find herself. <clears throat> so is this dream just yeah. telling her that she has lost herself? Mm-hmm. Okay. So she's using her son mm-hmm. as a projection of herself? Yes. Okay, good. Can you tell me about Pikachu and why Pikachu mm-hmm. is in their life? She's there to keep her company. Mm-hmm. She likes um, she likes having her around and uh, I feel like, like it's Mickey, her old cat. Mm-hmm. So it's the same soul. Mm-hmm. Is that why she says she felt she, they've known each other from before? Yes. All right. Does Pikachu have any information or any messages for her? She needs, she needs to talk to me. To not, to, she needs to talk to Pikachu. Mm-hmm. When she talks to Pikachu, she what needs happens? to talk to her okay. because she understands. Very good. Very good. Now I know that we have asked a lot of questions, but I'm wondering why it is that she was brought here so far from so far away for this session. She just needed to mm-hmm. be reassured that she's doing okay. She doesn't need to be afraid to be herself. Just keep moving forward. Mm-hmm. She never needs to be afraid. There's nothing that should stop her. Okay, good. Good. And would you tell her why it is that she's been gaining so much weight? Because she was keeping the sadness inside. Okay, all right. Good. Good. So now that she is going to bring that happiness out, the sadness will just melt away. Yeah. Good. Very good. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you would like to tell her, or are we complete? Very good. Thank you so much for all of the information. Welcome back. Hi. How do you feel? I feel so relaxed. Mm. I'm happy. That's who you are. <laughs> So how long do you think this journey was? Uh, it was like, like 40 minutes. Yeah. We're on an hour and 24 minutes. Wow. <laughs> do you remember everything? Most of it, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd been to that place before. Yeah, yeah obviously. <laughs> That's where, where you're from. Feels good. Oh, huh? It's so beautiful. Let's switch those stones up and give you something to ground you. They're a little cold. Thank you. But you did very well. So my father was here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Margarita. Margarita was the little spirit. Margarita. Margarita was a spirit, a little girl who died in a river and came back to her home, which is your home. So she was not 
She didn't go back home to the light. She didn't go. She's got. She's she's gone yeah. now. You feel different? Yes. Mm -hmm. So she just wanted you to be her mom, but I'm your she mom. was looking for her own mom. <laughs> Interesting. Huh? Yes. Yeah. So she needs to go home and get some recuperation, then she can come back. No, I you know. So it's really interesting. And my grandmother, I remember my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's always telling me to write my own book. Oh, well, are you ready now to write Yes, your own book? I'm going to write it. Good. <laughs> this is what you do. You illustrate it. So yes. You already know what, it's, what, what has to be done. Wonderful. Is this something that you want to share? Sure. Yes. Yeah, we can take some yeah. personal stuff out. You did well. Yes. You did very well. I wonder where that place is. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful. Yes. The mountain. It's so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And the air. Mm -hmm. I could breathe it. Mm -hmm. And I love the, my lung. Mm -hmm. How does your lungs feel now? It's, it's good. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm... <laughs> I'm very good. I'm good. very happy. So, <laughs> we're here in Miami, Florida, and Maggie, where are you from? Monterrey, Mexico. Ooh, <laughs> came quite a distance. Yes. And this is one of the coldest days of Miami right I now. I think it's the coldest. Right yeah, now. <laughs> it's really cold outside. And uh, so, you came here looking for what? What was your whole intention of this session? Well, I, I came here for healing my my spirit mm -hmm. and to find out a little bit more about me where I come from and what was my purpose yeah mm -hmm. and what do you now that you've heard all of this what do you think um, uh, first of all I'm, just, I'm very happy <laughs> well that's who she is she came here to be happy <laughs> <I know. laughs> and I am so very excited to to have a had this chance to meet myself <laughs> in another way and yeah. uh, and learn that what I felt was exactly what I needed to do here and um, also to um, to know that I'm, I shouldn't be afraid. Yeah. You know? And you came here to have fun. Yeah. It's like you're a young soul <laughs> mm -hmm. and you just want this adventure. Mm hmm I'm just enjoying it. Yes. I just came here to enjoy myself. And it seems that your art, which is very important, um, you convey your happiness and your love through your art. Definitely. Is there a place where people could see your artwork? Do you have a place? Um, mm, <laughs> I have a book that's out right now. Okay. You can find it in Amazon. Okay. And it's called Stripes for Eliana. Stripes for Eliana. How do you spell Eliana? With an E? E L I A N A. Eliana. Okay. Eliana. So yeah. Stripes for Eliana. Yeah. So this is your artwork. You are, you illustrate for. I, I for illustrated that children's book, and um, and right now I'm just gonna I'm gonna start my painting. Yeah. <laughs> and in the future. Um, we'll we'll hear from you again, and you can tell me where we can connect people. Yes, definitely. Maybe you'll have a, a an page. Instagram page. I, I have a little bit of work there, but it's more per, more personal. So yeah. I, so when you have your own Instagram or Facebook or website or whatever, let me know, and then we can tell people so they can buy your artwork. Definitely. Right? Yes. Good. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So, do you recommend this experience to I other do. people? I do. I do. I recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. And how did it feel to be in hypnosis? Um, it felt like I was conscious. Normal. Like normal. Yeah. yeah. And that's what hypnosis feels like. Yes. It's not like you're in a dream state or anything else. No. It feels normal. No, and you just have to trust everything that's yeah that you're you're seeing and you're and you saw quite a few different things yes <laughs> those fish people i know but they they were so normal they were they were like a mom and a, and a child going shopping yeah you know? they just look like fish yes <laughs> and they with had frog feet and with frog hands yeah <laughs> And I'm sure you could illustrate that now. Yes, huh? definitely. You can make a book about yes. about your people, your peeps. <laughs> Good. Well, if you want a session with me, all you have to do is go to my website, albawyman.com, uh, sign up for my newsletter, 
and about once a month that newsletter comes out and it will tell you where I'm going to be next. And we were talking about that when we you first came here mm -hmm. that um, there's a lot of people on my mailing list, but it was your time. Oh, definitely. It was, uh, um, I talked to my higher self and I said, I really want to try this. So if it's for me, I need a space in Alba, super busy schedule. And so in that moment, I turned on my computer, the email from the, the newsletter popped in and I was able to get. It's amazing, that's how, it, <laughs> that's how it works. So if it's your time, you will be here. Thank you for watching. This was a really nice session and I hope you enjoyed it. Until we meet. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>